a larger sample size that you need. You will need to use this formula according to green based on medium effect sizes. 104 plus k where k is again equal to the number of independent variables. So if you had uh, two independent variables you would need a sample size of 106. So for each additional independent variable add one case. But the minimum you need to conduct a multiple regression according to green with medium effect size and you're interested in beta weights which almost everyone is is 104. So to the question of what's the minimum sample size you need to conduct a multiple regression according to green I would say in practice 104 plus the number of independent variables. So the rule of 10 to 1 is not, not even close. People are in practice using much smaller sample sizes than they require. Now Maxwell took Green even further and in Maxwell's uh, study he extended it uh, in such a way that he took into consideration the magnitude of the correlations between the independent variables. So he also took into consideration the purposes you would conduct a multiple regression just like Green and he also took into consideration statistical power just like Green but he added the extra bit of what are the correlations between the independent variables because the larger those correlations are between the independent variables the larger the sample size you are going to need and I'm going to show you the results of associated with some of his work and I suspect you'll be disturbed by the size of the samples that you need to conduct a multiple regression so here is uh, the n required for a power of 80, so an 80 percent chance of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is in fact false, and you have five predictors. That's a very commonly observed multiple regression, five predictors. These are the results. If the average correlation between the independent variables is 0.3, and the average correlation between the independent variables and the dependent variables is 0.2, you would need a sample size of around 1,000 to conduct a multiple regression with statistical power of 80% to evaluate the statistical significance of all five beta weights and the multiple R squared value. I would say this is a very typical multiple regression analysis in practice. Somebody's got five variables, independent variables, they've got correlations roughly in 0.3 area and they have correlations with the dependent variable of about 0.2 so a lot of people would need a sample size of a thousand and the vast majority of people will never get that now if the correlation between the independent variables and the dependent variable is much larger at 0.4 then your sample size is down to 191 if the correlation between your independent variables is on average 0.3 so that's the smallest sample size you can get with uh, the n required for a power of 80 based on medium effect sizes again uh, well it's low to medium uh, in the in based on Maxwell's work now if you have much larger correlations or fairly larger correlations between your independent variables then in the magnitude of in the order of 0.5 which is very possible you would need a sample size of 2,752 if the correlation between your independent variables and your, in, your dependent variable on average is equal to 0.2. This is a plausible scenario in some cases. So a, a whopping sample size of 2,752. So you can use this table if you uh, like. My hunch is, is that what's going on is that people are using Green's rules uh, because they're much more attainable. A sample size of 100 is doable in a lot of cases, in some cases not. So 104 plus K. Uh, but if you really took it seriously and you took the correlations between the independent variables into uh, consideration, the sample size requirements are, are much larger. And very briefly, the correlations between independent variables, as that increases, it increases the standard error associated with the beta weights in your model. So that's what Maxwell's picking up on here. And it's true, that happens. So whether Maxwell's too strict or not, um, 
I suppose is open to debate. I mean, it's 